Meghan Markle and Prince Harry want to strip themselves of any royal comparisons when it comes to the demand to see their children, according to a PR expert. During their time as members of the royal family, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle shared very few images of their firstborn Archie. Since the birth of their daughter Lilibet, who turns one in June, the couple has released only one image of the young royal baby as she appeared on their 2021 Christmas card. The actions of the Sussexes when it comes to their children form a direct comparison to that of Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge's actions with their brood. Following the birth of each of William and Kate's three children, the royal couple has been photographed on the hospital steps showing off the latest addition to the royal family. Their eldest son Prince George, aged eight, is third in line to the throne. Six-year-old Princess Charlotte and three-year-old Prince Louis often aren't involved in public engagements the senior royals carry out for the firm. Instead, royal fans gain glimpses into their lives of them through comments and anecdotes shared by their parents at events or appearances, or by the photos shared by their parents to mark their birthdays or significant milestones. Kinsey Schofield, a PR expert and the founder of Los Angeles-based royals site todayfordaily.com, claims the Sussexes on the other hand want to provide access to their children on their terms. She told Express.co.uk, I think deep down the Sussexes want to strip themselves completely of any royal comparisons when it comes to their actions. They want to provide access to their children on their terms. They did not like the way the world demanded to see Archie upon his birth and they have been working over time to tell us that it is a privilege, not their responsibility to give us access to their babies. In her and Harry's interview with Oprah Winfrey, the Duchess of Sussex spoke about everyone having a basic right to privacy. Meghan was asked by Oprah that when dating a royal, shouldn't there be any expectation that you're going to lose a degree of privacy and in response, Meghan gave an example of her definition of a basic right to privacy and her example made reference to images of a child being shared with a co-worker. She said, if you're at work and you have a photograph of your child on your desk, and your co-worker says, oh, my gosh, your kid's so cute. That's fantastic. Can I see your phone so I can see all the pictures of your child? You go, no. This is the picture I'm comfortable sharing with you. Since then, there have been few details or images shared of the Sussex's children, apart from tidbits of information disclosed in chat show interviews that Harry and Meghan have done since leaving the firm. To mark the birth of the Sussex's first child in 2019, the couple presented their two-day-old baby to the world through a series of photographs taken at Windsor Castle's St. George's Hall. Two hours later, the couple shared their three favorite snaps on their now-defunct Instagram account. Since then the couple has only shared a handful of photographs of their eldest son, and just one image of their daughter Lilibet Lily Diana. The youngster, who was born in June, featured in the photograph chosen for the couple's Christmas card in 2021. The snap taken during the summer at the couple's home in Montecito, Santa Barbara shows Harry holding little Archie on his lap while Meghan holds her daughter in the air.